now the time to ride the rails in China. On this episode of The Investment Advisor, I thought I'd talk to you about a railway opportunity in China. It's not the flashiest stock you'll hear mentioned today. It may be a boring stock, yet it's a company that has been in business for a long time, more than 100 years, and it makes money. It, what does it do? It moves freight and passengers between Guangzhou, the old Canton, and Hong Kong. That's one of the great industrial corridors in the universe, and this is the company that owns many of the rails, not all the rails, between those two cities. Let's look at the stock and see where it's been. You can, you can see this is the ADR, it's measured in dollars, at $20 a share, the ADR. It's down from its high, way up here around, around $50 a share. What does that mean? It means the yield is, is quite interesting, say about 2-3%, not, not fabulous, but a solid good dividend. It also means the stock is perhaps drastically undervalued. Why is it undervalued? It's undervalued because it ships freight in and around Hong Kong, Macau, Guangzhou, the, the industrial heartland of southern China, and with the tariff problems with the United States, exports have been down. Simple as that. Exports have been down, the railway stock has been down. What's the good part of this company? You're not paying a lot for this company. Paying 13, 14 times earnings. I know that's not a, a bargain. You're also buying a company that operates in China. Therefore, I think there's a nice currency translation possible down the road. And it's also a solid business. It moves passengers from one city down to Hong Kong, back and forth every day. Millions of people live in that corridor. I don't know if you've been in that part of China. I urge you to go. And when you're there to take the train and take the Guangxian train, it's not the high-speed rail. High-speed rail is another business. And if you have one downside for this stock, it's that passengers in China, especially in the Shenzhen corridor, prefer high-speed rail, 40 minutes down to Hong Kong, up to Guangzhou. That's a more interesting than some of these local trains. That said, to move freight, it's not high speed. And to move most passengers to most of the suburban stops in these industrial cities of southern China, you take the old style rail. So what do we got here to sum up? We have a railway company that trades at a discount at $20 for the ADR, down from about $40, so half off. It it's, operates in one of the great industrial corridors. If the United States and China can resolve some of these tariff differences between their two countries, exports will pick up again, and you could have both a capital gain and a yield play for many years in the future. I don't say it's a, it's a double or a triple, but it's a nice solid single. That's all the time we have this week on The Investment Advisor. I'm your host, Matthew Stevenson, in partnership with Ducas Copy TV. Remember, money can take care of you. It cannot take care of itself.